Let's dive right into the sentences. Establishing coordinated universal time is no easy task. Each month, readings of a single second from atomic clocks around the world are taken and sent to the International Bureau of Weights and Measures in France. The IPM meteorologists perform... Um, oh, metrologists perform the meticulous work of assembling these minutely disparate readings into a globally shared time standard. Okay, we'll let's start with the ones we know, right? For example, well, that just means what it sounds like. Is that right? Is this, this is an example, right? They're sent to this place and it's not an example to say that they, what they do next, right? It's, it's, it's like, yeah, it's kind of like a next situation in a way. So it's not an example of them being sent to France it kind of tells us what happens after they've been to France. That's an example would, would be, I guess, like they get there by, you know, email or something. I don't even know. Um, conversely means, but I don't have any reason to think there's a, but right. They, they are sent there, uh, cause it's important. And then, uh, but the people assemble them into different things. Like, I don't know. It seems like exactly what you expect. If you sent them this information, they would put it together in the way it's supposed to be put together. So yeah. Now, Here's where we can get a little help. I kind of skipped this step, but what does in particular mean? Well, it means for example, right? So we have a little bit of a boost from the fact that both of those are in the same category. And so there you go. That would get rid of them both because there's no way to tell these things apart. So that kind of leaves us with there. Now we might be able to pick that anyway because it's just a location, right? So where are we talking about? The location there in France, these people perform the, the work of assembling this stuff into something useful. So, uh, I, you know, it's a transition that I don't, I don't know that I would need, like, I don't think the sentence is, is worse without it, but uh, if we've got to pick something, that's the one that works. This is definitely a weird transition, but uh, as is the case with most of the time that those are the answers, we are able to cross it everything else that isn't weird, and usually we do have that situation where two words fit the same category. If you can start to notice that stuff, it will help you increase your odds because then you'll be down to two choices pretty quickly.